Evening. Just a simple little vlog. Today I took myself out of my comfort zone. I know it sounds crazy, but for somebody who's crazy like me, who suffers with issues, it was out of my comfort zone. Uh, I just went to a, <laughs> a local superstore, if you can call it that. It's called Transit Way in Plymouth. And now I get, I, I have been there, but I actually drove over to park in the Tesco car park. I haven't done that for years, pre-COVID. I've gone to, I've gone up there and got petrol. And I've gone there to go to Lidl and I've gone there to go to B&M. But I've not gone and parked in the Tesco car park. So I think the last time that I did was when I got orange. Yeah. Yeah. I do believe it is. And I was really paranoid about it being nicked. So I walked around I walked around the store thinking, fuck me, orange is gonna get nicked. She won't. She never will be. And um anyway, I went back there today. Minus a certain person who always used to accompany me. No, I have been back there. I have been back there. No, I haven't been back there since. No. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, point of this simple little vlog. <coughs> Not that I'm intensely drunk yet. I'm cold, as you can see. See, if I was 21 years old, I wouldn't be dressed like this. It's only because I got old. And when I was 21 years old, I'd say, say to my mum, you know, why is it old people dress up when it gets a bit colder? <laughs> now I know. <laughs> I wish this fucking seat was heated, you know? Like, mine in orange. Do my back good, you know? Oh, 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 heated. Well, there's a coffee right there, is. Yeah, there's a thought. Entrepreneurial idea. Heated desk chairs. God, that would go down well. That would go down well. Charged on from your PC. What a cracking idea. Dragon's Den. No, I don't think there's no profit in this for me. Because I'm a tight bastard. Oh, fuck you then. You're a wanker. Um, so, so, and I was thinking of sharing this vlog. <coughs> across various channels. That I'm in. But perhaps I might not because my my language is getting fucking fruity again. <laughs> it's only it's only ten past it's ten past ten. Well, that's about right for this time of night, sort of. Anyway, I I I went over to this place out of my comfort zone and parked up. I vlogged it. I vlogged it. Um, it's on my channel. Ford Focus ST Mark IV M330 Transit Way Cam. <laughs> How pretentious is that? <laughs> well, thank God I got a nice car. I, I can drive out and, um, yeah, I'm in a different world to everybody else. It's quite nice, you know. I hang back three miles from the traffic in front of me and I flash them. And say, go on, go on, come on. You can turn out in front of me. It's okay. I'm not going to burn you up. D did it to a bus today. He kept flashing me in gratefulness. <laughs> it was quite amusing. <laughs> Simple things, little things. Uh, no, I, I am digressing. Second time. What the fuck am I going on about? I um, <clears throat> went to this out of my comfort zone car park. 
parked up and as you can see in the vlog I tentatively walked away from Orange there's two ta two charity shops and I haven't been in I haven't been in the charity shop since last year last time I went in a charity shop I spent about 55 quid on books they're still sat in a pile downstairs yet to be filed away because I've got no bookshelf space and um, I tend to sort of what happens is I look at them in the store and think oh that's nice I, I want that so I buy it <coughs> and then I take it down and I put it in a stack and then if I have a friend over it one of perhaps I show them my books that I've just bought you know it's sort of sort of uh, like it's sort of like um, can't think of the word backs up as to why I bought the book because I can show it to them anyway I got three 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 books today three books one was a quid second one was a quid same store and the other one was two quid bloody expensive so I'm vlogging my new books and it's easier for me to do this than take a bloody picture write a load of crap because I'm an arrogant sod and um, place it on various various groups that I belong to where it might get hundreds of likes or not I just don't go for that sort of thing when I've got a handful of groups with over a hundred thousand members why why should I need to share to get likes you know when I'm managing over a hundred thousand people it's not as hard as it sounds it's just what I've done established in it's no big deal no big deal you could do it too anyway let's go to these books so we got three yeah no Amazon boxes they're bloody heavy bloody heavy which one should we start with let's have a look shall we um, all three are really interesting actually I think I'll just yeah I could have bought more but I was I was sort of compromised that's the word compromised by the fact that I didn't take a, a bag with me yeah so and besides the first shop I went into as I went in they said we're closing in five minutes oh fuck because I like to spend some time and there was so many so much vinyl and you know me with vinyl, you know. Oh dear, I'm sure. I'm a, I, I, I sort of, I saw it. I glanced at it, and I thought, what should I do? Offer them thirty quid, fifty quid for the whole lot? Because, because, I'm sure there would have been something in there. Just one, one LP, perhaps that would have made it worthwhile pay dirt that's what it is pay dirt okay first book I need another sub you'll like these I do now bearing in mind I've got at the last calculation I said um, I estimated I've got about 3,600 books <laughs> no this is just a tiny tiny portion so I know what I'm looking for in a book and I've paid hundreds of pounds for a book a single book so I know my books I like I like my books I like collecting my books hey that's cool isn't it I should have a feather a fly fisherman <laughs> no I'm not one of those I don't believe in cruelty so let's pull the first one out it's going the wrong way. Look at that. 
DK, a DK book, one pound. The car book, definitive visual history. I have never seen this book before. Never. So I had to buy it. That's a, that's a tenner's worth. Okay, it's paperback. Don't know when it was published. Perfect gift for any, for car lovers of any age. That means people of any age who love cars of any age. I opened it. I just flicked through it and I thought, i got to have this one. I've got to. And this, this, this goes out to my friend. I dedicate this book to my friend, Derek Tompkins. Because he would love it. How can I, how can I? I mean, I love DK books, but, and I've got quite a few DK car books, but this one, this one is just unreal. Look at that. What a visual feast. I think I should split my vlog up to the various books and then I can post them accordingly. What a, what a feast. I'm not quite halfway through and it's about to drop. <laughs> What, what I haven't I, I've never come across this book before and today I choose to put myself out of my comfort zone going into a charity shop and I find this one what's the history of this book who was the previous owner I would like to meet them and ask them what happened did you die Shane Shane great Shane This I used to I used to write in the front of my books who I was and when I purchased them. I mean this is up there with the best of them. And I've got lots and lots of books about cars, etc. But th this one is is just a gem. What do you think? No, I don't want a screensaver. Anyway, that's enough. <coughs> I'll end this vlog, the car book, and I'll vlog it to um, two wheels and more, and possibly fast. And I'll tag Derek. If you see this one, buy it. <laughs>